Hello, hello, hello. Welcome to my channel, my dear friends. My name is Avilash and I'm a trader next door. In this video, I'll be analyzing the chart of Core Hivasti. So if you're watching my videos for the first time, you can subscribe to my channel for regular market analysis. So let's get started. So my dear friends, which day is it? First Friday of the month means NFP day. And throughout the week, we have been waiting for NFP. Not only we, market was waiting for NFP because there was no proper direction in the market. And since yesterday, we can see that volume has gone down sharply. Market is not moving much. Market is trading in a range right now. So market is seriously waiting for NFP. And as a, uh, as a trader, we know it very well that NFP is very important for all of us because NFP can provide a direction to the market. After all, fundamentals are important for direction technicals yes technicals are important but when fundamentals dominate the market technicals do not work so my dear friends at the time of news you need to be extra careful this is the economy calendar you can see nfp is coming uh, after nine hours or if you want the time here in india okay nfp is coming around 6 pm so go to the forexfactory.com in economy calendar and check the time in your time zone okay in my time zone it is coming at 6 pm and if you look at the market sentiment, we can see gold firms up ahead of US jobs data. Gold firm up around 2360 per ounce on Friday and was set to advance for the second straight week as investors look forward to a key US monthly job reports that could cement expectations for Federal Reserve interest rates this year. Gold set for weekly gains spotlight on US payroll. So this is the market sentiment. Market is uh, mostly waiting. Before I proceed with the video, I would like to mention one thing very clearly that my dear friends, today their uh, chances are very less that we will get any proper trading opportunity because we discussed uh, the levels yesterday also, but the volume was so low, market did not come to our levels and there is a high chance that market will not come to our levels today as well. After NFP, anything may happen, okay, but before NFP, I don't think so market will come to our levels. So yesterday we discussed about three strong support levels where we can look for buy. Those were two double three seven. Wait, let me change the color here. Okay, yeah, two double three seven was the best level. Okay, where we had multiple confluence. Then we discussed about two three four two, and then two three um, four eight to two three five zero. And today, okay, today, okay, there's no point of discussing about 2.337.2342. But during the European session, if market drops, then we can look for some support around 2.348.2350. So on today's chart, okay, the only level where you can look for buy before NFP is around 2.348.2350. And when market will be going down, observe the market carefully because of low volume. Okay, if market rebounces from 2351 also or around this area there also you can go for a buy because you may not get a perfect entry okay but still you can look for a buy around this area as well now you can see that i am on a 15 minutes time frame and switching to a higher time frame like one or four hours is not um, very feasible for us okay as we can see right now the market is almost ending at a resistance here okay Okay. so if you are planning to take a sell okay you can take a sell but do not expect much in this market condition 20 25 pips is also decent enough you can also look for a quick sell of 20 30, not 30 okay 20 pips around 2 3 6 5 okay just quick sell here and then we have the next big resistance around 2 3 6 7 2 2 3 7 2 yesterday also we discussed about this level as a strong resistance and a strong resistance is still valid for the day as well but before nfp only after nfp one big candle will just break the level here so 2367 2372 i don't think so market will be able to break this level before nfp so if market goes up observe the market hopefully market will reverse hopefully market will struggle around this area once market will reverse we can look for a sell position so as the market doesn't have much volume right now okay in simple words as the market doesn't have much volume right now in this market situation buy at support sell at resistance is the best trading strategy and the reliable levels are far away so we can look for quick uh, opportunities here and there as well 
and one thing i would like to mention here my dear friends if you're holding any position and if you're trying to hold or planning to hold any position at the time of news try to exit because if market goes in the opposite direction you will be stuck people love to trade at the time of news but we cannot deny that thousands of traders around the world or more than thousands okay millions of traders also around the world lose capital because of news trading news trading uh, trading gives adrenaline adrenaline rush okay but it also blows our account so please be careful and if you're planning to trade at the time of news okay then okay then the numbers will play a major role okay you can see that the uh previous number okay the previous number was how much previous number was 272k and this time they are expecting the numbers to be around 190k okay this is the expected number so if numbers come around 195 uh, 200k then there's a high chance that market will remain sideways in case market comes or uh, sorry the data comes a 185 or 180k Okay, then also there is a high chance that market will remain sideways okay market doesn't like normal data okay let me be very clear okay market doesn't like normal data it doesn't matter whether the data is positive or ne negative but if the number comes very close to 190k then there is a high chance that market will remain sideways listen to me carefully okay market okay it doesn't matter whether the data is positive or negative but if the number comes closer to 190k then we may get a sideways market okay but last time uh, i think last time uh, we got a huge difference okay so if we get a huge difference then you can expect a trending market for example the expectation is 190k and if the number comes around 250k 270k then you will see gold flying okay then try to follow the trend of the market be on the buy position on the other hand if you see that um, expectation was 190k and numbers um, are coming around let's say 140 or 130k then obviously gold will drop and you need to be on the sell position okay so if you really want to make money at the time of news then okay then uh, try to follow the volume volume plays a very important role in the market because highest market manipulation takes place at the time of news news trading is the hardest form of trading if you really if you really believe that okay you can analyze the news then you can take a position then more in most of the cases okay your sl will be hit or the your position will be going in the wrong direction okay to make money you need to understand the role of volume or volatility okay. so anyways okay hope Hopefully you got the answer and as i said okay chances of getting a position is very less right now so better okay better avoid taking any positions okay if market doesn't come to our levels okay and just wait for the market okay so uh, that's all from my side my dear friends uh, thank you so much do not gamble